Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my free web design tutorial. Here, what I did was I linked out to all 71 of my free videos that I have on YouTube that cover HTML, CSS, XML, WordPress, JavaScript, PHP, MySQL, SQL, Ajax, and jQuery. What I did was I put all of these videos with links to all of these videos all in one presentation. Here is what I cover. In regards to WordPress, I spent a lot of time on this because I think anybody, no matter what your technical knowledge is, can design a WordPress website. So first off, I teach the free absolute basics of using WordPress.com. Then I explain how to use the dashboard in WordPress, how to post articles, images, and video, WordPress media links, comments, and pages. And you can click on any of these and it's gonna bring you right to that specific video. Also installing WordPress on GoDaddy, a way to install WordPress on pretty much any other hosting site, how to use the WordPress appearance options, how to register a domain and hosting plan, cheap. Then I show you how to design your site with an extremely inexpensive tool called Artister. Then I go into a bunch of plugins, being the sitemap generator and Google Analytics. In the next video, I cover all in one SEO, add to any, clean contact, Vipers video quick tags, and Google Translator. Then I cover dynamic content gallery, intense debate, and the MailChimp plugin for WordPress. Then I go on to cover sexy bookmarks, Socialite, WordPress Mobile, and WP Audio. Then I show you how to post to 44 different social networks with one click using a free service called WPing FM. Show you how to create a free survey tool in your website using Google Docs. Show you how to legally get free content and post it extremely easily into your WordPress website. Show you how to upload video to numerous sites with TubeMogul. Then I show you a bunch of free SEO and PageRank websites and software kits that are all free. Then for the initiated, I go into my HTML tutorial and in part one I explain how to use every HTML tag, continue to explain all of those HTML tags in part two, and then finish in part three. I walk you through creating a PHP mail script, explain what's the difference between XHTML and HTML, go over every property available for styling text with cascading style sheets, explain all the CSS background properties. In the third CSS video, I explain how to edit box properties with CSS. I then go on to introduce the div element and explain what you can do with it. Then we explain the difference between fixed and liquid layouts, and then I explain in pretty much everything else you'd want to know about layout and positioning in CSS. Then I move on to JavaScript, introduce JavaScript in video one, go into object-oriented programming in two videos, explain functions, variables, the DOM and looping in JavaScript, then take you through a code walkthrough on using JavaScript. Then we go into the comparison and logical operators in the switch statement, provide another code walkthrough on event handlers and how to use them with JavaScript, go into regular expressions in detail, and then I show you how to create a JavaScript and cascading style sheet dropdown menu. Then we move on to SQL. In part one, I explain what a database is, what SQL is, explain RDMS, show you how to create a database. Then we go over the statements, describe, insert, select, where, comments, operators, count, and group by. Then cover the statements in SQL being like, regular expression, in, not in, and delete. And then cover alter, change, modify, numeric functions, and string functions. Then go into explaining everything you'd ever want to know about atomic data, normalized data, primary keys, and foreign keys. And then finish off the SQL tutorial set by going over multiple tables, relationships between table data, joins, and union. Then I go into the PHP tutorial. I profile ways you can use PHP and go over the basics, then we go into math, functions, arrays, if, conditional, logical operators, show you how to loop with for statements, while, do while, and also how to include files in your PHP code. Then we go into PHP functions, I explain what scope means, date functions, time functions, and how to use databases. Then. I show you how to use cookies and sessions in PHP, how to code a PHP simple login script, how to code a PHP new user registration script, how to code a PHP quality login script. Not that the first login script isn't quality, but this is a little bit more upscale. How to code a PHP forgotten password script, how to code a PHP account activation script. And then I go in the final presentation on how to create an automatic updating multiple drop-down boxes script. Then we go into XML, cover the basics, explain what it can do, compare it to HTML, explain tags and elements, then go over XML rules, explain the rules of writing valid XHTML, explain well-formedness, and yes, that is a word, 
briefly cover the basics of DTDs or document type definitions, which in the third video I cover in detail, and then finally finish off by covering XML schemas. Then we go into jQuery and Ajax. First video I cover introductions to jQuery and Ajax, then I show you how to select and edit HTML elements using Ajax and jQuery. Then I show you every way you can select or find data in a web page. Then I take you on a code walkthrough showing you how to select and edit elements using jQuery. Then cover jQuery event handlers and event object properties. Show you how to manipulate event handlers. Show you all the animations provided with the jQuery framework. And finally how to pass text and XML files using Ajax and jQuery. Then we have some random videos, creating an email newsletter, how to get 1,500 Twitter followers in a week, what to do if your site's hacked, and how to set up GoDaddy email. And if you want articles and code, they are all freely available at NewThinkTank.com. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if there's a subject I haven't covered yet, just ask me in the comments section below, and I'll get to it right away. Till next time.